In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my SSMP by One Replicas. So let's get right into it. So to quickly get into it, this hilt is a Vader hilt, obviously. Um, it is a stunt version of a Vader hilt, meaning it is very slim down. It is very easy to swing. Honestly, out of all of my Vaders, obviously this is the easiest one to swing. I, I've gone out in the backyard, been in my room, swinging this thing around. Super easy, especially paired with a 28 inch uh, blade. Super, super easy, super lightweight. It's great. Now the hilt itself, I mean, it's lightly used, um, but it is still a grail. You don't want to sleep on this for sure. You better, you better get it on it while you can. Do not sleep on it. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this. Remember, don't sleep, but no, for real. Um, so basically like any other Vader hilt, you know, it kind of looks pretty much all the same. This is pretty much, um, I would say it's a good mix of Empire and A New Hope, you know, because A New Hope, no wires, Empire, long grips. Um, but it does have in the clamp, a DV3 clamp, which it's a very nice touch. Shout out to Sebastian Starlight Sabres. I'll talk more about uh, him in a minute, but shout out to him. He recommended um, a DV3 clamp and it works out fantastic. Now, uh, this hilt does not come with a blade plug. So I got my own blade plug from Saber Forge. Uh, it's the Death Star wall panels. It's weathered. I kind of, if you know, Saber Forge is weathering, you know, it's not the best. So I kind of weathered it myself i just put a little, little few little scratches on it you know didn't really help all that much but overall with the hilt it is a fantastic hilt um this is where the button is at the activation button it is a one button but you can with this hilt, you can have a three button setup if you want to the other two buttons will be located down here with the clamp with this kind of install we could not do a um I, we sebastian was not able to do uh, two buttons down here. So decided to go with the one button up here. Works great, works fantastic. Now let's get into the install. This is installed with Golden Harvest V3. This is my first Golden Harvest and I gotta say, I love Golden Harvest. Probably just as much as CFX at this point. I love it. It's just, it's so easy to add your fonts. It's the same way to add CFX fonts. You just take a CFX file, drag and drop, you know, rename, and you're good to go. That's all you gotta do. And then from there, you just do the same thing as you would with a CFX. You would just change the color where you want it to be and change, you know, blade styles. And I'll talk about blade styles and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I love this. So the way this is kind of um, installed, it has a two separate chassis setup. So I'm not gonna take the actual, the other part out, but it's located up here. It's where uh, the board is and where the button is on the back there. I'm not gonna take it out because it's tricky to put back in. Now, Sebastian did an amazing job on this install, for sure. For sure, did an amazing job on this install. Very, very clean, this is just one part of it. Um, it's where the battery would go, pins, and then a little kill switch right there. So removal ba battery, uh, kill switch, um, separate chassis. This thing is incredible, I love it. So. Let's go ahead and let's throw a battery in. Let's drop it in and let's screw the pommel back on. There he is. Vader. Now the thing is with the pommel, it is open. So the speaker is like literally right there. So this thing is pretty loud. The volume is not up all the way. You know, it'll shine through there with your um, pulley plug. Super, it looks super sick, honestly. Like, I love the Death Star blade plug, but yeah. Now, like I said, this is not as loud as it can go, but it, it is still pretty loud. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put a blade in, and I'm gonna show off. Well, let's show off, let's show off three fonts. I'll give you all three fonts for today. Now, I'll probably talk more about this in the showcase, but the way um, I set this up is fall in order. Um, so when you go to your sound menu, it plays 
a phone or theme. I might get copyrighted for it, but hey, who cares at this point, right? So it'll play a fall in order theme. So there you go, and then you just flip through. Wait, let's go back. You would be wise to surrender. Have a ballot pass. Outstanding. Let's go with second sister. There it is. See now, what I love about Golden Harvest is that you can layer blade styles on here. So right now I have what's called a wave style, and then shooting up it is a white, um, white light just shooting up the blade to kind of give it, um, it, it adds a little extra to the wave effect, I think. And it looks super cool. The one thing I want to change about these styles and pretty much every style on Golden Harvest is this. I don't like how it turns green. It is an easy fix. I have done it with my Vader profile to make sure like it works and it does. I just need to go through and do it with all of them. But I don't like how when you do your four sounds, it changes to a green blade. And like sometimes on other colors, it will change to like a purple or something else. Not a big fan of that. Um, I just think that kind of takes away from it. I think it should be white. That's what I did with my Vader. I'll show you in a minute, but yeah. Um, also, gesture controls. Super, and it's super easy to like do this whole thing. So I can just kind of go. Saber editor. I can just go in a saber editor. Select mode, color profile. Change my color. Pixel number. Pixel number. Ignition speed. Ignition speed. I'm, I'm just repeating at this point. Retraction speed. Retraction speed. Battle configuration. That's where you can like edit your blasters and stuff. How you know you activate your blasters and your clashes and lock them and, and things like that. Gesture controls. Gesture controls. Um, there is swing on and there is thrust on, but me personally, I like I like twist on and twist off. Effect font slot. Not sure what that does, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Save and leave saber. And editor. save and leave. And also, you can uh, change your volume. Volume control activated. So you can see I'm kind of halfway, kind of go up, can go all the way, and bring it back down. So I'm just gonna chill right here. Volume adjusted. So yeah, that is the second sister. So let's go to Town Mal Corpse. Have a ballot course. There he is, the traveler. This one is by Cases. Oh, and obviously everyone knows what two the second sister is by Chiropodic and Cases. Everyone knows that at this point, but the traveler by Cases. Kind of the same thing, you know, even the classes, you know, they go they go to a blue, which I have to change that before um, doing a sound font showcase, but super sick. Yeah, and you see right here, um, change it to a white. I did that with a few um, styles already, I already changed them to a white, but like the waves and like the unstables, I haven't really changed those as of yet. But yeah, let's, I'll show y'all how to get to your other styles. Hold down your button for two seconds. And go into your style. So right now I'm on classic three. Classic two. And you can just go classic two. Classic three. And you just twist twist your hilt to classic get to four. what you want. Classic and there's five. and there's a lot of them. Classic four. And there's probably classic maybe three. thirty of them. I want to say. And also you can get layers. So like if you press the button. You can layer your styles like that. Have two of them go off. Three. Getting nuts right here. Kind of like a lightning effect. Yeah, you can do some insane stuff with these boy styles by layering. Like, it's so cool. But yeah, on my other fonts I have on this, I did kind of go a little nuts with some boy styles. I'm not going to lie. I did. A lot of them are pretty, pretty layered. So, yeah. Tony Alfonso, in case you don't want to miss it. You would be wise to surrender. Yes. Now, you're probably saying, Carter, where did you get a Fallen Order Vader font? Well, I'm going to tell you all a little cheat code. This is a Rogue One Vader from the Father V2 pack for iCyber Phonics. So what I did was... I don't want him breathing while I'm talking. <laughs> so what I did was... I took the Rogue One package and I changed out the font and the boot up and I 
yeah, and I changed out the four sounds as well, and I just replaced those Fallen Order sounds. And where you can find some Fallen Order Vader quotes is in the Survivor Bundle Package. Just go in there, go to quotes, go to spoiler quotes, just scroll down, you'll see Cal, Vader, you'll see that right there. That would be the font right there. And I think the second sister, or maybe, but might be on the Survivor Bundle, but on either second sister or survival bundle there is there are pre-on effects i just took those pre-on effects and i just made those to four sounds and i just took the rogue one coming out of the back to tank and then i made that the boot up sound and that's how you get a fallen order vader and obviously i put the breathing hum because i feel like that's very necessary with a vader font so yeah it's literally just rogue one with fallen order quotes on it because as jesse told me it was vader rogue one sounds they're using rogue one obviously fallen order and rebels yeah there you go fallen order vader and that's gonna do it for today's video. Shout out to Sebastian Starlight Sabers, dude. Install, fantastic, I love it. But guys, if you're looking for a saber, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Go check out Starlight Sabers and get yourself a lightsaber. He's got some pretty awesome sabers in his store. And at checkout, use code BLUEMAMBA to get 10% off of your order. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Look, I just flipped the switch I don't know nobody else that's doing this